everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Meg Lowe Show. That's right. I Boom. am Carlos Alberto Navarro. I am Megan Elizabeth Navarro. And we Whoa. are Meg Lowe's. Welcome, and um, thank you for joining us. You know, every week we see people coming on here and watching and listening to the show, and we could not be more grateful because, um, you know, this is what we do. We Megalos, yo. <laughs> we Megalos. <laughs> yes, and um, it we has. Like a, like a, we should make that into a jam. Make it into a we Megalos, yo. We uh-huh. Megalos, yo. Uh-huh. We don't talk about other shows. We Megalos, yo. And um, yeah, we are. Um, it's a, Right now we're recording this. It's a, it's a lovely Tuesday here in Orlando, Florida. Hot as hell. It is hot as hell. I know. That's one of your pet peeves, though. Yeah. It is. Let's can... get that right off the bat. You want to <laughs> talk pet peeves? I will talk about pet peeves. I can't stand it when conversation resorts to it's hot outside. I'm not saying you can't mention it every now and then. Just about the weather in general. You get... Weather in general is the most. But it's like such an easy thing exactly. for me who is a bit introverted a lot of times. Oh, really? You have like a, 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 a YouTube channel. You have a Meglos. Right. You have to but the like top. in person. Right, but really, I'm I think that's. I think you're past that now. You I don't think, think I'm introverted. Well, compared to me, most people are introverted. Yeah, um, but I, I don't mind going to the weather. Well, because uh, I feel confident about the weather. I check the weather every single morning. Maybe that's why. Maybe you because don't ever check the weather, so s- you don't give a. F- I don't give a fuck about the weather uh, because the weather doesn't give a fuck about me. Oh my god! And that's my saying, and I'll it stick is your to saying. it. <laughs> You've been and saying that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's true though. Like the most inane elevator conversation What's inane a name is like just like a non-worthy it's stupid it's 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 tr- it's uh, I, I, you don't are believe you, you sure don't, you, that that's a word oh yeah how do you spell a name i would say a name is i n a n e i'd like to you want to check it <laughs> yeah all right grab me my phone all right i'm gonna check it over here yeah oh, i'm taking I, a break hold on a second hold on a second i'm walking around oh here. god oh god okay. you're gonna ruin okay. the whole set right, okay here we go all here right, we go Okay. Here we right, go. We have a gigantic studio here at <laughs> Studios. And um, it took me almost. <laughs> woo, it's uh, just. Wa- I mean, I'm not even covering a little bit of our studio space here. Hey, in- Siri. Hey, Siri. I fucking hate Siri. Siri, hey, Siri. sucks. How do you spell a name? A name. I. A. N. E. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. R- Rewind. I don't think I even got to spell it. No, you spelled it. Yeah, that's how I spelled it. That's definitely how I spelled it. Inane. What is it? Give a good look. Hey, Siri. What's the definition of inane? Okay. I found this on the web for what is urban mission of inane. No, Siri. That's not what I asked. Alexa would kick your ass, Siri. What? Hey, Siri. What is the definition of inane? Inane means silly, stupid. So, I'm a smart guy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you just questioned my vocabulary, and I was like literally on point on both. Okay, so how about uh, I, I will would question? Like to roll the tape of what you told me the definition of a name it was, was. Like it, I said, it was like kind of stupid. It's kind of like not worthy. See? Okay. All right. Listen. Mike, can you give me some props? You win. You win tonight. Extra. You got to smash a little harder tonight for me. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Yes, you do. Sorry. Going to bed early tonight. (laughs) Doesn't mean you can't smash going to bed early. We have been trying to go to bed early. If you are just watching this for the first time, yes. This is my wife. And, uh, oh my god! <laughs> hey, look, it is, and uh, and a lot of people are watching. Is like, well, what are they? So they're just a duo. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? And um, Alan Bear voice. Um, Pet peeves, weather. The weather don't care about you. I care about the weather. So hmm. yeah, here in Florida, it's just hot all the time. It's I mean, it's just hot. So when people go, it's, it's hot outside. Sure hot now. Sure, but it's this is what happens. Then when it gets cold, people go, "Man, can you believe how cold it is?" You do that. That's the thing, though. You no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I've shit. never, ever, you get ever excited said excited about it being cold. You're like, "Oh, it's a little cold today." Okay, ooh, ooh. so that's okay. So it's not. That, but I don't mention you, it like to do, other people. You do. You, I, I, I wish I could find audio. You can't of just you keep bringing radio. up past just because I talk a lot on and it's recorded. Yeah, you can't exactly. just keep. You can't just <laughs> have a library of <laughs> yes, things I that can. you can pull. I up. wish I had an assistant that would just pull up like clips of you saying certain things and contradicting yourself always 
Carlos always fucking contradicts himself. He is always just a walking contradiction because he thinks he knows it all, but the fact is he is just an idiot. Becky, I so agree with you on that one. Oh, hell yeah, girl. Give me a high five. I'll meet you at three for once. Pa, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't tell Becky that she's doing sometimes, a good job. Sometimes I agree with what Becky says. How da, girl? <laughs> no. How about this? Fuck you, Becky. I am currently writing a letter to yourself, and you will be booted off. So there you go. Go screw yourself, Carlos. <laughs> Becky and several other people, they just can't stand that we're, we're doing it, okay? We're a happy husband and wife team that are doing a show on YouTube, on all these other different platforms, and Becky and several other people are just picking their ass at home, wishing they were doing something with their life, but we thank you for watching and commenting. <laughs> not, not talking about the, the, the nice people. I'm talking about people that, that just live their life in filth and negativity, and uh, we don't do that. We do, we're not perfect. We're not trying to be perfect. I don't know. We're trying to be perfect. <laughs> Would you say we're trying to be perfect? Uh, I think perfection is like is never attainable. So, um, but you know, I am a bit of a perfectionist. I would say that you are a bit of a perfectionist. I am not. No, I am not a bit. Of, uh, I I'm very happy with ninety uh, percent. Yeah, you very are. happy. Like I'm like I you're a ninety percenter. I'm like that looks good. Sometimes you're like a seventy percenter when it, it comes to home projects. Fifty percent. Oh bullshit! Sorry, it is. That is so wrong. Not. I have gone from not being able to do anything around okay. the house to now to doing fifty percent. <laughs> I'm hurt. That's wrong. That I that, look. I can build things. <laughs> I can what? <laughs> I built this table. You did it. Built this I would cut down on the table you right now. You got a discount on the table. Yes, I got a <laughs> discount on the table because I made up something was wrong with it. Well, it wasn't kind of something was kind of wrong with it, but it's, I got a good deal on it. Okay. Do you have any more pet peeves? Yes. When people say edumacation. Oh yeah, that's they, annoying. When, when like, people oh. say, "Hey, yeah, that's where I got my edumacation." I hate that joke. I hate the short bus joke. When people say, "Yeah, they rode in on the short bus." Does anyone still say that? I think people still do the short bus joke. Really? Yeah, I think they do. So they would have to be like fifty and older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, pet peeve: when people don't like when people think MMA is. I know that's like totally that left field, but I was thinking like older people. When people don't think MMA is human cockfighting and they'll go, I like boxing better. When they choose like one martial art to the other. I know that's a really weird pet peeve, but when I hear people say that, because I love MMA, I love fighting, I love all, in any form of that. When I hear people say, those guys just are in there just like human. I just go like, really? Really? So you're not going to give them any credit for training their entire lives and being disciplined and, and, and focusing on one goal of beating another man in order to attain the belt, baby. Uh, what? I, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, MMA. I don't so. care about you not liking it. That's <laughs> fine. But when like somebody puts it, you know, juxtaposition boxing and they go, well, that's a real sport. And I, that, and I love boxing too. But like when people are like, I just can't get behind, you know, MMA. It's a weird... You asked me pet peeves. What is your pet peeve? You know, I'm sitting here trying... I know I have a million pet List peeves. your pet peeve below. What is your biggest pet peeve? What is your biggest pet peeve? I know I have so many, and I just like literally can't think of one right yeah. now. Well, if anybody wants to be silly and say that we're their pet peeve, oh boy, you guys are so good. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh, good job. But if you really do have a pet peeve, Write it below. We, if you notice from the other videos, we like to write back and talk back and forth. We're building this community, okay, right here on YouTube. God, what is a pet peeve? A pet peeve of yours is probably something home decor. Um, hmm. Maybe uh, something with fashion. Uh, I'll tell you, this is a stupid pet peeve. What? It's not even, but it still is. When people are referring to the dollar store, mm. but they're talking about Dollar Tree or vice versa. Like there are dollar stores. Yes. And then there are is the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is not the same as other dollar stores. That's true. And people intertwine. You're very them all protective the time. of the Dollar Tree because you <laughs> yeah. built a gigantic YouTube off I, of Dollar Tree and your creativity and, and know well, how. And I just love Dollar Tree. You really, I mean, it's hard not to like the Dollar Tree. You walk in a there, you're like, everything's like a it. dollar. You know what I like about the Dollar Tree? But they're changing that. Like, shit's going down. Uh -oh. Like, I haven't heard. Of, uh, I don't Hello, know. Hello, I'm the CEO of the Dollar Tree. And for many years, everything was a dollar. 
But now we're going to go a dollar oh five no, tree. They're they're legit like putting things in there that cost more than a they dollar. They shouldn't do that. They, they shouldn't. shouldn't do that. They the great thing about the dollar tree. Arms about it. They shouldn't do that. That's for dollar general because that's right. dollar generally family dollar family dollar it's a dollar but it could be a family of dollars so it could be one little little three dollar a little five. dollar got, tree is got, a tree with, with just dollars <laughs> and little baby dollars on that tree uh so i'm not listen look i'm the ceo and profits are everything so if i want to make it two dollars you shut up meglos that's why we're one of the biggest stores in the world <laughs> Dollar Damn. Tree te- to test higher price merchandise in some stores. <laughs> they shouldn't do it. Because I've seen a few people on YouTube say like they've done a video and some of their Dollar Trees oh, are one of the God. tester ones. Look, when we've been broke before and now we're super, super rich. My God, we have millions. Kidding. Um, the great thing about walking. Uh, whoa. Well, that was a little burp. Gross. Shot fires. When you walked into the Dollar Tree when you're broke with 20 bucks. For all my Hispanic brothers and sisters out there, vende dólares. You know you could spend 18 to $19 and receive 18 to 19 things. Okay, I'm counting tax in there. Because how much would that tax? Would be? I don't know. I'm I'm reading about Get Dollar Get off the Tree. phone. God, we just did a, a, a to the top about doing, how you're always on your phone. I'm doing some research. Well, do it before the show. <laughs> I like that she's doing it. Dollar Tree is going to take over. We're taking over Winn-Dixie's. We're taking over Old Albertsons. We're taking over Lowe's. Yeah, that's right. We're buying out Lowe's. It's going to be Dollar Tree Lowe's. That CEO is, he's, he's a real deal. That's right. I'm taking over everything. I love an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I can see why Dollar Tree's stepped up. Maybe one day you want to work at Dollar Tree. Not like in the store, but maybe like as, hi, yeah. I'm Megan with Dollar Tree. And, you know, well, you already do that basically with, yeah, the, with no. a lot of your videos. Yeah, that's not, that's not my goal. Pet peeve. What else? <sighs> I know I've ha- I think makeup I- any makeup pet peeves when you see one I think I, I, there is a pet peeve of mine go ahead when um when when there's the line that women have for well, makeup yeah because they didn't they don't know they how to either. blend it down you on- need girl what you need is a blend what's it called beauty blender Girl, what you need is a beauty blender, okay? If you come to my salon, I will hook you up because what you're getting here is the residual line, and it's not doing you good, girl. You need to, you need to just, you just beauty, blend blend it. It. No, beauty blend it. Beauty blend. Not how you use beauty blender. How do you? Oh, you I pa- thought that's when you blend it. it. You pounce it. You girl, you gotta, you gotta pounce, pounce, it. pounce, pounce. You gotta pounce on that chin line. Oh God. No, that well, that's not really a puppy of mine, but yeah, a lot of not a lot. Some people don't realize you got to take the makeup yep. down onto the neck. Oh, so it all right, right, right. Blends together, that or makes else sense. your face is a different color than your neck. Why, especially is it if it's not matched correctly? Women, you guys have it so, so much, difficult. So, I mean, you have to paint so much process your faces. You don't have to. Well, the women who are good women do. Okay. Uh, Oh my God! Did he just say Carlos once again, being a sexist fuck, said women have to put on makeup to be a good woman? In my opinion, I love women who wear makeup. Look at my beautiful wife; she loves to wear makeup. But Becky, I, oh. shove it up your ass! <laughs> now you shove it up your ass, Carlos. I don't wear any makeup except blush. <laughs> So then you do wear makeup. <laughs> blush is just a high iron. <laughs> blush, what a random thing. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you should have said mascara. I sometimes wear mascara <laughs> if I'm going out to eat with some friends. <laughs> I like mascara, Becky. Fuck you. Uh, I wear makeup oh. le- I le- What? I don't wear makeup more often than I do wear makeup. Though. I don't wear makeup more. Yeah, you wear you don't wear makeup more often than you do wear makeup. Yeah, it's less often that I get all dolled up. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's okay. You're not, you're not, you know, if you're going out to do something, I, I it's not like you have to go to Target and be all made up. Oh no. Oh, uh, a pet peeve: women that ha- it's not really a pet peeve. I'm just trying to think pet. Peeve. People that have to be completely dolled up just to go. This is my mom. My mom is. I like, I respect like, that. I know. I like that. But I think like, you women shouldn't leave the house unless they look like a million bucks. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding, Becky. Okay. I thought you were a fucking thing. I'll let that one slide. Thank you. 
I'll tell you a pet peeve though. Uh, shorthand. We were just talking to oh, Lennon about too. shorthand, yes. especially like through text. Uh, and text isn't even as bad as like shorthand on an Instagram post yes. or a Facebook. And it's like the PLZ. Yes. I really hate. Yes. Thank you. Excellent pet peeve. THX. I, a text is okay. THX, like if, if you're just like, it does annoy. But when I see somebody write on Instagram, or, or any social media or an email and it's shorthand. Oh, an email, yeah. I just go, you're stupid. I mean, it, it just is not a good look. It's not a good look. And and our daughter was trying Ooh, to shorthand I know something, another, well, and we're like, stop that, or we will kick you out of the house. And she's eight years old, and I don't care. Oh I'll my. turn her into an orphan if she writes me just K instead oh. of OK. You're out of the house forever. <laughs> Thx, thanks, but you're out. <laughs> Another pet might have a lot to do with grammar. People that mess up there, like T H E R E mm. and T H E I R. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If we're doing language pet peeves, Th- I mean those. I could get that. That one. Yeah. That one. That you one's screw good. that one up. No, I don't. No, you I don't. Yes, I used to back in the day. Uh, don't what, you what, dare. Five years ago. Don't you dare say that. Look at my last. Any. Look at look at my past five years. Uh, not one that's misspelled not, that's or true. incorrect there. I don't believe so that. So there. Huh. <laughs> um, oh, I, and two, when they misuse uh, two wrong, the T-O and the T-O-O. T-O-T-O-O, yeah. Yeah, not knowing how to use that. Those, but I, am, like, I don't really have any like, big pet peeves. Yeah, I'm trying to think anymore. Um, we were doing grammar one, so I can't think anymore. But we weren't even going to talk about pet peeves, what we were going to talk about. What were we going to talk about? Um... 90 day fiance oh <laughs> man i know last week i was bagging on oh people yeah you. that watch the bachelor okay and then you but 90 day fiance oh. which is on tlc is quality viewing okay is it the bottom of the barrel yeah, yeah. to watch people Oh, that who sh- who shouldn't even be in the same room together? I, I shouldn't tell them if they're. I, it's not like we watch every single episode. When it, no. we catch it, and when it happens to be on, yeah, and we, we got food, we want to eat. I, I'm one of those people. I like to. I don't like to eat my meal until I'm like, oh, is that good? Okay, that, I got a good ten minutes here. Okay, I'm gonna start eating. You know, mm-hmm. but. I happened to come across 90 Day Fiance a couple years ago, whenever the hell it came out. Yeah, on. we and watched I, it a lot more back then. Yeah, and I was like, we gotta watch this show because these people. Oh. It is amazing what people will go and put themselves through. Um, in the name of love. In the name of perceived m- or misunderstood Well, love, love on one side and the other side, like, just having a new life. Yeah, starting in a, a new, new country. life in, a, in, in the good old USA. Um, hell yeah. we got yeah. the new one that's going to go on the other way. So I don't know. I, I mean, somebody's going to move to India. But see, a part no of way. me wants to like start DVRing that because it is such a fun, guilty pleasure. It of is ours. a guilty pleasure. So look, if you watch The Bachelor, or actually, it was Paradise Island that I, that was really going. But on. then it went into The Bachelor. Okay. You hated okay. on those people okay. so bad. You I should did. feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. <laughs> but it's just an opinion. If but it the bothers problem you that is bad. with Ninety Day Fiance, they have so many episodes. Yeah, yeah a lot. That's like I can't get hooked into something with that no. much. Just give me like. One a week, if that. But I feel like it, it, there's just it's too so, much it's stuff so, in general. I know. Like, it's so easy to be a lazy, fat ass on the couch these days. Yeah. Because there's so much out there. And even people watch things that they don't even like. I've talked to friends like, yeah, I watched those series. It was like three was seasons, okay. but I didn't really like it. It just wasn't that good. Like, so you wasted how many hours? Uh, like 160. <laughs> um, but it was okay. I'm like, What? Time is our greatest asset. It is more than money, more than more than anything. It is time that you can't get back. You can't buy the time. Time. Time now. The time. The richest man in the world cannot buy time. I don't know why I went into the British accent, uh, but the Brit the, the the richest man in the world cannot buy. Who is the richest man in the world? These the days? richest man in the world. On paper C- is Jeff Bezos. I thought he wasn't anymore. He is. Hey even- Siri. Yep. Hello. Who's the richest man in the world? I tell you, I would. Boom. <gasps> <laughs> I believe he's worth um, even a hundred and how you, you ask him. I think it's a hey hundred twenty billion. How much is Jeff Bezos worth? 
Bezos's net worth is one hundred and forty six point three billion dollars. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Could you? That's what he looks like. Uh, he looks good now. He's, he's, he's he he had a he had a scandal, not a scandal. What, what it was, was a scandal? Well, he got divor- he was getting divorced from his wife, oh, and then yeah, I and heard then about the that. National Enquirer uh, paid people to basically hack his stuff. Oh. Um, and it, and it looked like it was like Saudi related as well. What? And they found text messages of his uh, with his you know new girlfriend. Um. And uh, and and I think some dick pics. So <laughs> even at that level, you still got to send a dick pic. You still, I'm I'm so if glad. If you ever send me a dick pic, I will like I. Why guys? No, please don't. I'm very don't happy with my dick. Very happy. I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm not the smallest guy in the world. Uh, I do but, not want a dick pic. But why would nobody wants to see the dick pic? Nobody. I hope some people do. I mean, no, are there really? If you want to see guess. a dick pic, write it below. <laughs> say, I love dick pics. No, I don't think you can do that. Why? Because it really <laughs> shocks me that guys, I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I was like 12 inches, like, it'd be like, I got to send this shit, you know, but. Like, look look at Anthony Weiner. And the fact that the guy's name is Anthony Weiner, a guy who could have been a presidential candidate, got in trouble for sending pictures of his Weiner. I don't know what else is more poetic uh, in life. But, uh, uh, yeah, he. Uh, it, but then Jeff Bezos is like, look, motherfuckers. What did he say? I'm the richest guy. They tried to blackmail him. National Enquirer tried to say, hey, look, unless you... Do something. I forgot what the what they were trying to get, but unless you do this, we're gonna release. It. And he's like, "Fuck you, release them." And I'm gonna send a letter and basically state it because him and his wife were already in this turn. They had an, a, a a conscious own coupling, oh. and she got paid, and she she's they're fine. You know, I really respect people that could do that. Yeah, me too. And 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 so oh. he was like, and because man, you know, he, it makes it a lot easier to consciously uncouple. Seventy six million dollars, <laughs> billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I could consciously uh, uncouple with that. Yeah, and so it is pretty crazy. It, I read I read a bunch of Jeff Bezos because the guy start he is a nerd nerd who in his high school yearbook said that he wanted to change the world. What does he want to do? He wanted to get people to the moon. He wanted to get people to outer space. What is he doing now? He has literally I think it's like the Blue Mission rocket something like that. Who their passenger rides passengers like just like what Elon Musk is doing. Well, Elon's doing it on another level. But he started in a small office, uh, literally shipping out books because he saw the formula of to su- how to succeed with selling things online. And it was books. And he said, once we figure out how to do this, then we can take that blueprint and we can uh, apply it to anything else. And that's what Amazon is. It start- it's so crazy that Amazon was an online bookstore. Oh, my God. I wish you could think of something. That I have an rich. idea. <laughs> Okay, dick pics are us, <laughs> and guys can send other people's dick pics so that they don't get in trouble. What do you oh, think? Oh my God, that's not. What if I go send you anywhere. somebody else's dick? I don't want to see anyone's dick. I really don't. I, 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 Here's I, another I, thing about dicks: not a lot of dicks anymore. Yeah, in the sense of this. What does that mean? What does that mean? You don't meet anybody. And go, hey, what's your name? Dick. Oh right, right. <laughs> yeah. You don't see that anymore. No, you can't do that. Like you can't. If we have a boy with our next baby, not can we name him, him Dick? Never. Richard, Richard, uh, no, I don't want Richard, but Dick, that's a strong name. Never. Because like you walk, hey, how you doing, what's your name? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? That is just I mean, like, you just don't see any dicks you anymore. You're going to let, uh, yeah, no, we're not. No more dicks. Dick Van Dyke so, is just. Dick Van Dyke, but I don't think of Dick when I think of Dick Van Dyke because he is a classic American treasure. Yeah. I think of, you know, silly physical comedy. But when uh, chim chimmery, chim chimmery, chim chimmery, I don't know the words because I've never seen the movie. I'm trying to get you to watch that movie. Yes, I nice. love Mary Poppins, the Look, original. Can we name our next child Dick? No. It's a very strong name. It makes a it makes a powerful statement when he meets a woman or a man. Hey, if our son ends up being gay and his name is Dick, the guy's going to pull a lot of guys. Oh, God. No, I mean no, with a name no. like Dick. I'm not Dick. gonna let him get made fun of like that. What? If, okay. What? So, not gonna happen. Okay, we won't name him Dick. What if we name our kid Cock? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no more dicks anymore. You don't. You just don't see any dicks anymore. If you if your name is Dick, leave it below. Really, I want to know if your name is Dick, not just fake Richards or anything like that or fake you know created profiles. Um, 
So one of my pet peeves is when people's name is Richard and they don't call themselves Dick. <laughs> when they don't call themselves Dick? Yeah. Isn't it funny that Richard Simmons could be called Dick Simmons? Do what you know? happened to him? I don't know. But I don't know. I, I don't, don't know think if, good. I mean, wasn't he like locked up? Or he was like, not doing well. He was not doing well for a little bit. But but I think hopefully he's doing okay and helping people. You have no again. idea. You have no idea. I don't. Could I don't. be going awful for him. I hope it's going better. He's a big. He's a big hearted. Dick Simmons is a big hearted <laughs> man. <laughs> you can't call. I like saying the name Dick. <laughs> Dick we talk dick pics. We talk regular dicks. We talk pet peeves. We talk a lot here. And if you haven't checked out our other channel, To The Top, Never Stop, check out the stuff there. We talked about the do's and don'ts of relationships. One do, definitely. Uh, don't deny the dick. If you're a <laughs> wife, don't deny the dick. Oh, my um, God. And uh, and and look, uh, is there anything else you wanted to cover there, sweetheart? Um. Hashtag free Britney. How Britney Spears with the the developing saga with Britney Spears. It looks like she so is going hopefully on. gonna get out of this conservatorship that's been just No, I don't know. No. Jamie Spears is now I on told the dad you side? Well Jamie Spears is the dad. Oh, Jamie is the dad. I thought that was a mom. That's Lynn. Lynn is oh, the mom. Oh, Jamie. That's another you thing. You don't know any. No guy Jamie's. No <laughs> guy Jamie's. But the we daughter don't... is Jamie Lynn. That is as narcissistic the as dad it comes. And the mom. That's saying. ridiculous. You, why name your kid? I used to want a bunch of Carlos's. Then I realized, man, you just you, you let the kid have their own identity. That's why I do kind of believe at 18, you should be able to have an easy way to, to change, change your, your name. name. Oh, my God. Why not? And then at 18, if you make a bad mistake, hey, that's on you. I would never name a kid Carlos Jr. I, Carlos I, Jr. sounds like an awesome, you know, uh, uh, Roscoe Boyle place. place. Yeah. <laughs> the Carl Jr. is just basically hard. I don't particularly love the name Carlos. <laughs> oh, my God. It just sounds like. Screw you. <laughs> I love my name. I like Los. I this is the first I've ever heard in fifteen years of together that you don't like my name. Uh, I mean it's all right. It's not like the best name. It's not that original. You know what? There's like a good jo- look. Listen, I don't love Megan either. And neither do I. Good. Stupid ass name. Good. Stupid ass name. Go Every time the- I say Megan, it's I go, Megan. Megan. I go <laughs> stupid name. You don't like my name. I don't like your name. <laughs> Let's change our names. What would you change your name to? Cammy. I know but you would it change was it always. To. It was supposed to be Cammy. Cammy Clifton, though, with my maiden name, it sounds better than Cammy Navarro. Yeah. But yeah. I, I'm sticking with Carlos. I'm a Carlos. There, everything about me says Carlos. Does it? I well, no, not really. I mean, I look more like a Tony. I think I've always kind of said my face and my looks and my nose say Tony. <laughs> But I feel very, I'm so glad that I'm a Carlos. Are you? Yes. That's nice. Yeah, and and and, and exactly. And other people, hey, Los, and call me Los. I love Los. Yeah, I I, I remember the first time somebody called me Los. Yeah, did it make you feel good inside? It did. I was. I had to have been. Hmm, had to have been seventh or eighth grade, and we were playing basketball in this like street, and somebody drove by real fat, like slow in this car, and they were uh-huh. like, "Hey, look out, Los!" I was like, "Who's Los?" I'm like, <laughs> oh, "That's me." <laughs> Nickname, nickname, yay! yay. <laughs> and um, and so people, you know, people call me Los, but not that many. It's it's uh, always no, Carlos. I'm, my name's hardly ever um, Meg. No, hardly anyone calls me Meg. Yeah, yeah, I don't call you Meg. No. And no what about the movie The Meg with Jason Statham? We liked it. We liked it. That was, a, that <laughs> was an excellent movie about this killer shark. Some people call me May. My dad calls me May. Yeah, yeah. Other, Other people, people call, call you Gan. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gan, come over here, Gan. Um, but uh, I would say if I had the eighteen, if you could change your name, leave a comment below. If you could change your name, it usually says your name, and then you can leave what you would want your name to be. Leave it below. Leave it below and tell us what you would want your name to be. Mine's so Cammy. Yeah, well, I'm Cammy. I don't uh, think you're Cammy. Screw you. What? No. What do I look like? You could be an Olivia. Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. Um, a Gabrielle. Uh, oh, I'm white. Is Gabrielle? Isn't that more of like a no. Spanish name? Um, Angelina. Angelina, no. Uh, you definitely are like a Melissa. Oh, screw you! What? A Mel- with your pretty blonde hair. 
That's like Melissa. Thing. I'm glad I'm not a Melissa. No, no offense to any Melissa. Oh There's yeah, a- no Melissa's gonna write their name like, oh, <laughs> Megan hates me. No, it's not the name. There's just so many Melissa. A lot of Melissa. I mean, out my there. age. I don't think anymore. I don't think a lot of people are naming their kid Melissa anymore. You don't think or so? Megan like, but yeah. around my Nicole. age, there's so many Megans, Nicoles, Melissas. Ashley's, yeah. you know. You could be an Ashley. I don't want to be any of those. You could be a... Uh, I wish uh, my parents would have been a little more original, but their defense is no one's name was Megan at the time. I don't believe that. There's a lot of Meg. Oh, oh, I was a little burp there. I thought you were about to throw. <laughs> yeah, Megan. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, we've covered everything. We've talked. I don't even know how long. It flies by into the top studios. And it just gets hotter and hotter. A little thing about all to the top full studios. Circle. We're it back all circle. comes to the back. Come back to the hotness. Because at To The Top Studios, we want the crystal clear audio that you hear. Manageable, vegetable. Last week, Meglo, sorry about the audio. Had a little issue. So you heard the audio straight from the camera. Yeah. Our mic uh, audio went <laughs> kablooey. Yes, it took a dump. and uh, But hopefully, this one doesn't. Because if so, I've cut this part out. <laughs> um, look, thank you for joining us. And honestly, whenever you share this and whenever you comment below, it means the world to us because that's how people find out about the show. I know you think we have a huge marketing and advertising budget. We don't. <laughs> we don't. Our re- our marketing team and our advertising team are very busy with the Super Bowl commercial for Megalos <laughs> and to the top. It's crazy. So they just don't have time to be pushing out stuff every day. So all of you all who write below... Thank you so much. Thank y'all for watching. We just want this to be like a show that you listen to. We both have our shows that we listen to. Like when we just want to like feel like we're hanging out with someone yeah. like decompress. Nothing's too serious. No. Just kind of laugh. Have fun. I love listening to that kind of stuff. And yeah. right now mine is Britney's Graham, even though they haven't posted in a while. But it, we can be your guilty, yeah, somewhat guilty yeah, pleasure. Exactly. But maybe you get something out of it, too. Exactly. We're maybe like the half guilty, half like informative i don't yeah i don't know if megalos is that informative. i mean I, we learned the, name. the vocabulary that's I mean. true you learned i knew it <laughs> i learned shit i was having to prove my knowledge oh. my life proving my knowledge years of acquiring knowledge for many many years of schooling you're such a communicator that's what i do that's what i do a lot of people don't like that a lot of people no, don't like that they see me as a pit bull yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can be a real pit bull if i want to but I'm just a little cuddly labradoodle, just like Alan Bear. Oh, we love y'all Bear. for checking out Meglos. We have so much more in store for you all over the rest of the year and so on. So on behalf of me. Wait, before what? you say that, let us know in the comments below if there's any random topics that you would love for us to cover, talk about. You know, it can be like stuff going on on the outside, you know. All that. Whereabouts or just anything in general. Let us know in the comments below. Please do that. So uh, on behalf of Megan Navarro. I don't know if I love you saying like on behalf. You don't want me to say on behalf? Okay. No. How about this? We hope that you have a wonderful day. <laughs> I am Carlos Alberto Navarro. But I also don't love that. Like, well, then wh- go for it. Close it out. Okay, sure. No, 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 no. No, no, go- no, 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 no. <laughs> we got the one well, from the cheap seats. I don't like that. <laughs> that wasn't good. No, please take <laughs> us out there, Meg. Again. Because <laughs> Carlos is going to sit back and watch you take us out. Come on. Let's hear it. Let's do it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Not good. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> On behalf of Don't tell on behalf. I'll speak of myself. <laughs> on behalf of my husband. Cousin? <laughs> it's my pet peeve when people mess up my title. Okay, listen. I'm Megan. I am Carlos Alberto. We had fun hanging out with yes, you. Yes, we did. We hope you had fun too. Yes, and we'll see you on another episode of The Megalo Show. To the top, never stop. Bye. Peace. I was supposed to say never stop. <laughs>